Alexis, well, I was hoping that you would pick up, but uh, maybe you're in court or something. Anyway, we haven't spoken since our events of last night, and I just want you to know that I've been thinking about... Ah! All right, I have to call you back. Hard at work? Well, maybe my boss would like me to install a time clock so I can punch in and out for personal calls. Far be it from me to stop my employees from nailing beautiful women, but today you have bigger concerns. This is the day that we put Corinthos out of business. I told you the other night at Windermere that this new venture of ours is going to put us over the top, sliding down Easy Street. The best part is we're going to leave Corinthos in the dust. Well, you seem pretty confident about that. Oh, yeah, and why not? How is he going to compete with this? While well, Sonny's busy bringing in coffee beans, we'll be importing a higher quality product from Colombia. I take it we've gotten our first product. Thanks to my friends in South America and Sonny Corinthos' short-sighted queasiness, we are about to corner the market. Oh, you're right about that. Sonny won't touch drugs. Won't move them, won't sell them. He's even been known to destroy other people's product, keep the stuff out of his territory. <laughs> Well, his loss is our gain. He thinks it's wrong. Then he's in the wrong business. Well, maybe I think it's wrong. There are other ways to make money. I don't pay you for your conscience, Jerome. I pay you to do what I tell you to do. And we are taking over the drug trade in Port Charles and territory surrounding. End of story. It's time to sample the product. You sure that's wise? What kind of businessmen would we be if we put a product on the street that we haven't tried? After you. Have a drill and wait. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, man. Who in Port Charles is going to say no to that? Your turn. I think I'll pass. That was not a request. You're a businessman selling a product. You have to know how good the product is. It's not optional. What are you waiting for? Julian? Hey, Sam, this is a surprise. Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Luke, what are you doing here? Hi. Well, I'm here looking for art for Tracy. It's her birthday. Thought you might want something a little more dramatic for the uh, Quartermain Den. That's, that's really thoughtful. Well, she is my fiance. You're engaged. Wow, I had no idea. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. If I wasn't spoken for, little lady, you would have yourself one serious stalker on your hands. Okay, oh. well, you are spoken for, so the point is moot. You know, maybe we could, you know, talk about this later. Yeah, sure, we will. It's important to me, Jules. Hope to see more of you soon, Sammy. Yes, likewise. What was that all about? Uh, huh. what? Uh, I would forget about Luke, like most of Ava's clients. I can't really explain him. Luke can be very eccentric. I know, I know, because I know him very well. That was strange, even for him. Yeah, well, he is engaged to Tracy Quartermain. What's stranger than that? Hmm? That's true. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Okay, um, remember when you told me that you would do anything to help me prove that Ava was framing Silas? Yes, I meant it then, and I haven't changed my mind. Okay, well, I have an idea about how to bring Ava down, and I was hoping that maybe you could help me. Whatever it is, I'm in. You just tell me what you need. Well, what do you think? Do you still want to help? Consider it done. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Hopefully, Ava will fall right into our trap and she will finally pay for what she's done. <laughs> 